Hello, this is Jenny from Jenny's Real Talk on the block, LA Talk Radio Channel 1 and IR Radio. We are here at the Boulevard in Boyle Heights, California. We are reporting live. Uh, we're about to go ahead and start our concert, but right now we want to talk to Dr. Richard M. Fleming about his GoFundMe campaign that is in regards to a breast cancer screening uh, test that he has a patent for. Uh, but right now we need, really need to raise the money and to get him some help uh, to be able to give this breast cancer screening for uh, a normal price and not let go, you know, big pharma take over and want to charge up the wazoo for it. We're trying to keep this reasonable even to the point where if you can't, uh, if you don't have insurance, you can still, it'll still be like $50 or less for you. So we're really trying to make this a possibility, especially for all you women out there who have, uh, or maybe possibly could get, uh, you know, breast cancer someday. Uh, let's talk to Dr. Fleming and see what he has to say about this. Well, this is a perfect day to talk about it because this is International Women's Day and I can't think of a better day to be talking about women and breast cancer, which is the number one killer of women. And so, you know, all the work that they did for making this patent something that could be kept out of the hands of big pharma corporations has, has come to fruition with us and beginning to license this now to universities. But I want to go one step further and allow people to contribute and determine where this actual license goes to pick out one university hospital where women can go to have this test done independent of whether they have the insurance or the financial means to do it. And like you mentioned earlier, the license controls the price that can be charged for this test. And that's never been done before. To actually get the license, you have to agree that the price of this test will not exceed $350 to $500. And the, and the predecessor to this test, which isn't anywhere close to being able to do what this does, runs between $1,200 and $1,500. So in and of itself, this, this saves money for the insurance companies and for the people. And I have that, that people cannot be charged more than $50 out of pocket for their costs. It doesn't matter where they're at on the insurance. This test needs to be available for people to help people. And, and the best way to do that is to begin by, by contributing into a university center that cares for the people. That center has to demonstrate a commitment to excellence. It has to demonstrate a commitment to community. And it has to demonstrate a commitment to people. So, again, we're not going to allow this test to be run in places that they're going to charge for whatever. And we're asking for your help to provide the money for the license so that we can accomplish this. And we're, we don't have any particular university already picked out. This is all up for grabs based upon what people come in and tell us about these university centers and what the centers tell us about themselves and the ability to raise the funds to make this a possibility. Uh, and how long are you going to be running this GoFundMe campaign for? Well, we're planning to run the GoFundMe campaign for anywhere between four to six weeks maximum. I really want to have this university picked out by the end of March or the first week of April. The sooner we get this up and ready to help people, the better it's going to be. Because this is the only test that actually measures what's going on. Every other test, it doesn't matter whether it's mammography or ultrasound or CT or MRI, every other test that we use to try to figure out if there's a problem is dependent upon you having an image taken someone like myself, a doctor looking at it and going, I think I see it or I don't think I see it. And the problem with that is that if you don't think you see it and it's there, you miss disease. And we now know that half of all women, women with dense breasts, their mammograms are at complete risk of missing, missing cancer. In fact, the legislation that was just passed on the 18th of February made it a federal law that all mammograms have to have accompanying their report a statement that says if you're a woman with dense breasts, in other words, if you're one of 50% of all women, half of all women, if you're a woman with dense breasts, you may have cancer and the mammogram may have missed it. That's no way to take and be running a test to see if you have a problem. That's, that's, I can't think of anything else that we would accept a 50-50 shot at. 
mammograms, when that was the only thing we had, that was that was better than nothing. But this measures what's going on. And it not only says you do or you don't, it tells you where you're at. And because it can measure where you're at, it means we will find changes leading up to cancer before it becomes cancer, which opens a whole realm of possibilities for treatment, your diet, your lifestyle, vitamins, minerals, yoga, whatever it is that you're doing, there's a brand new opportunity to treat it and to measure whether that treatment works. And if you have breast cancer, it measures whether your treatment works. So if you're going to get chemotherapy or hormone therapy or radiation therapy, wouldn't you like to know if it's actually working? I think most people would agree that if they have a test, like this test, that says, okay, I'm taking this, this medication to treat cancer, and it's working, that that's worth doing it. And by the contrary, if you're taking a medication and it's not working, you and your doctor, you want to know that now, not six months from now and not five months from now. The reason why we tell people they have a five-year survival for cancer is because it means you're alive. It doesn't mean you're cancer-free. And for all the women that have had cancer, and for men too, by the way, this test measures whether you have a secondary cancer going on that's being inhibited by the first one. So instead of waiting five to ten years and suddenly finding out you have cancer that's spread all over your body, we're going to find it sooner and we're going to be able to do treatment. This is an opportunity for people to be involved in their health care. People are tired of not knowing what type of health care they're getting, whether the treatments are, are working or not. I think they're tired of the government running the show. I think they're tired of insurance companies running the show. This provides the first opportunity to put it back in the control of the people and the doctors taking care of you and keep it under control price-wise. Your contributions make a difference on what you do now, what all of us do now, will we'll echo an eternity. And where can people find this GoFundMe page? Uh, I know there's a huge link and everything, but uh, if you want to tell everybody where they can go to contribute, your contributions really help to make this a possibility. Even if it's only $5, whatever you can do to help is greatly appreciated. I, I contributed today myself. So we got to get as many people together, especially us women. This is International Women's Day. Uh, we want to help to save women and, and to keep them from getting breast cancer. So if a test is going to be out there that's going to detect cancer earlier than most tests, wouldn't you want to get that test? You know, where can you find where can we find this GoFundMe page? All right. Well, the title for it is Breast Cancer. What we do echoes an eternity because what we do echoes an eternity. So you go to the, the GoFundMe site and then you just put a hyphen between each word and, and it's breast cancer. What we do echoes an eternity. Uh, that should be pretty easy. Uh, so like I said, just put a dash in between each, one, each word. Uh, but you can go to GoFundMe and find this page contribute like i said even if it's just five dollars uh to help out the cause to get this uh, test in at a university where it'll be a lower cost to everybody uh fifty dollar cap on it uh let's keep it from big pharma getting a hold of this type of thing and, and charging two thousand five thousand dollars uh out-of-pocket expense this is especially great for people who may not have insurance uh, which a lot of people in the, in the United States don't, which is very sad. Uh, but this will keep it so that you don't pay any more than $50 out of pocket for this type of a test. Uh, what would you have to say to people um, you know, before we end this interview? Well, I just want to say it's been a pleasure to actually develop the test because it's, it's a result of 18 years worth of work. And I knew it was going to be a long process, but I knew it would be very much worth it. And this is really an opportunity for everybody who said they want to contribute and make decisions about their health care. People go on the internet every day and, and, and they become full of doctors. This is actually an opportunity for people to get involved and make a difference. And if you're not doing it for you, you're doing it for someone you love, or you care about, you're doing it for your friends, 
you doing it for your, your, your mom or your dad or your sister. It could be your brother. Men get breast cancer oh, too. True, and this is true. the only way to actually that's manage true, it. That's actually, yeah. And, and the only way to take and really get a grip on this disease is to find it sooner. The sooner we find these changes, the less toxic the treatment is going to be and the healthier the people are going to be. We're asking for your help because I can't do this by myself. I, I really can't. I, 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 you know, we've done everything up until now. I have made this available now so that if we do this together, we can literally control what's going on. This does not belong in the hands of the government. It doesn't belong in the hands of the insurance company. It belongs in the hands of the people because it's the people we take care of. Medicine is not and never has been a business. It's a call. And the people, the doctors that are looking to take care of their patients, they want to do the best job possible. They're just finding out about this test now because we worked at it to keep it out of the hands of Big Pharma. The fact that it's available for them, you can help make your doctors aware of it, and you can help make it available in your community. I want to thank you so much, Dr. Fleming, for being here today to talk to us about this. And um, your very good point, men can get breast cancer as well. I completely overlooked that fact. That's very true. I don't ever think about that. I always think about women, you know, when it comes to that. But yes, men can get breast cancer too. So if you have a, a man or a woman in your life that you know, or maybe yourself, who could benefit from this type of a test, uh, please, you know, help contribute to this GoFundMe page so that we can get this going and really make it a reality. Thank you so much, Dr. Fleming, for being here today. And uh, I hope you I hope you get enough money to be able to really make this uh, a reality. Just really quickly, how much are you trying to raise? We're trying to raise a total of $50,000 for the license to provide this for a university medical center who's demonstrating to us that it's patients and the care it provides to them is more important than just making money. And by being able to provide them with a license, they will have no cost out of pocket. And there's no reason why they then can't make this available for the women and the men who need this test. Think about it. It's only 10,000 people with five bucks each. Or, you know, 5,000 people with 20 bucks each. Either way, we can make it happen. So get out there and contribute to this GoFundMe page. Trust me, trust and believe it could save your life. Thank you so much, Dr. Fleming. And uh, Jenny from Jenny's Real Talk on the Block, iHeartRadio and LA Talk Radio, we're out.